What's up everybody, David here bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary today. Um, I got this gameplay a few days ago, it's nothing insane, it's a little bit lower standards than what my usual um, gameplays are. You know, it's a little bit up under standards, but it would do. Um, it is pretty scumbaggy, FAL, attack and search C4, uh, multi-team kill confirm dot hijacked. Uh, me and my friend Michael were playing, and I got this. I uh, figured I would just make a commentary about seeing that I haven't made a video in about a week, and I really gotta get out of that habit of like not wanting to do a video during the week because I'm just like tired of stuff. I'm gonna stop doing that, guys. I'm gonna start making these videos again because you guys deserve them, I guess. And they're pretty fun to make, actually. So. What I want to talk about in this video is um I want to talk a little bit about the Steam Box, um the new console being made by Steam. Um, Woody's Gamer Tag made a video about it um earlier that I watched, and he did an excellent job of explaining the specs and all to it uh, um to us about it. But I kind of want to um reach in debt about like. Steam itself, like, are they gonna start making consoles regularly? That are they gonna release a console every um six or seven years, you know, or six, seven or eight years like that, or is this just gonna be a one hitter type thing, you know, one hit wonder, bang a bang for your buck, whatever. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I I personally. Um, hope that the feedback from the Steam Box will be good. I'm hoping that people are going to buy it. I know that I'm going to try my best to buy it whenever it comes out. Um, but I still am going to be getting the Xbox One, you guys. Um, so you can definitely count on that. But um, I also want to talk about recording on the Steam Box, you know. Are we going to be able to use, um, well, most people are using the Elgato right now. It's pretty much the top of the line now, if you guys didn't know that. Um, it's one of the more simpler approaches that you can use. I use the Roxio HD Pro, which is um, extremely simple to use. I recommend it if you're thinking about doing YouTube, but you're not really sure. That's why I got it. Like, I was thinking about doing it, but I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with it, so I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money. I think I got mine for like... 120 bucks or something off of Amazon, very good deal um, for the product. You should go check them out. But as far as recording, um, most people use the Elgato now, or at least most of the big YouTubers use the Elgato, but it's drifted away from the HD PVRs and stuff. So I'm wondering if they're going to make it to where you can record with it, or are they going to be doing the thing like the um, the Xbox One and the PS4 are where it has like a self recorder in it. We can um, record from your console or um, what? I don't know. It's like a lot of questions. I'm sure that they're still in the development of it. I'm not even sure if they're in the alpha stages of, um, of the Steam Box yet, but hopefully we'll be able to, um, to get some more info on that very shortly. That'll be good. Um, let me know if you guys are going to be excited for it or not. I know I am because of the sheer mass of games that we can play on it. Because um, if you guys didn't know, I play quite a bit of PC games off of um, Steam. And the amount of games on there is at your disposal is just insane. And they're claiming that all the releases on Steam are going to be on um, the Steam box. Um, if that's not true, please leave it in the comment section because I don't want to be giving out false information. So if I'm not correct on that, please tell me. Um, I'll make sure to correct myself in the description where I'll throw a comment on there. So, um, um, if you guys have never played PC or if you don't have Steam or something, if you ever get it, 
you can go to the store. Um, there's a free to play um, filter search on there. Um, and there's just like tons of games. So just free to play at your disposal. All that you gotta do is just download and install them and start playing. It's crazy. And some of the games are actually quite good. Like War Thunder. That's one of the new titles out. That's a pretty fun game. I've been playing it a little bit here and there. Um, Arte Combat, that's another first person shooter. It's pretty cool. But I'm I'm thinking that that would be a lot better of their approach as far as like hardcore gamers go. Like myself, I consider myself a hardcore gamer. I don't know about y'all but Um What defines a hardcore gamer? Like, tell me in the comments what defines a hardcore gamer from a casual gamer. Like how much do you have to play? to be considered a hardcore gamer. Me, I play pretty much every day. You know, I may not play much every day, but I usually get on my Xbox every day, except for on the weekends. I don't play very much on the weekends, unless if I'm home alone or something. Just um, trying to like, not hang out with my friends on the weekends, but usually I am. So, if you play... My definition of a hardcore gamer would be, if you play four times a week and at least an hour and a half sittings I, I would consider you a pretty hardcore gamer you know you may not be as close hardcore as me but you're not playing once a week you know or you're not just playing on the weekends I mean you're picking up that controller or you're throwing your hands on that mouse and keyboard for four times a week I think that you're pretty hardcore um, whenever I say hour and a half sittings, that's like the minimum that you play. You may play up to like five hours a day or something, or like eight hours a day. I don't know, it's just like, what do you guys do? But let me know what defines a hardcore gamer um, in your guys' minds. I'm going to be interested to know that. Um, let me know how often you guys play um, your console or system of choice, I should say. Um, like tell me if you guys on average play seven days a week or once a week, two times a week, something like that. Just let me know. Um, then that'll be pretty cool to know. And that's pretty much all that I got to say about um, Steambox for right now. But there should be lots of information to come out. I'll be keeping up to date on videos and forms and stuff because I'm all about that nerdy life, you know <laughs> so that'll be fun to know um, the thing that I'm looking forward to the most right now I, I don't know why I'm about to say this but the two things that I'm looking forward to the most in my life right now is for Netflix to get the last season of Breaking Bad and the next season of Sons of Anarchy. The two things that I'm looking forward to the most. Forget Call of Duty Ghosts. Forget the Xbox One. Forget the PS4. Forget the Steam Box. I want those two shows right now at my disposal on my Netflix account. That's what I want. Let me know if you guys want that. Then, probably, like the stuff that I want for gaming is Forza 5 and Call of Duty Ghosts and new consoles and all that kind of stuff. Consoles everywhere! You know. But, I think that, um, that everything with a new generation consoles and all, is just going to be blown away by the Steam Box. I think that the Steam Box is going to get hate at first and not a whole lot of people are going to buy it. People are going to think, why don't I just buy a PC if I want to play on Steam and all? Um, I think that people are going to like give it hate at first, but then people are going to see um, how good it runs games and stuff. And I think it was going to like get a whole lot of um, good stuff. One more quick question. Um, please let me know if you guys know if... The Steam Box is going to be playing on its own servers, or if it's going to be playing on PC servers. I hope it plays on PC servers because I want to play with my favorite YouTuber, TB and All Frags, and TB and All Kenworth. I want to play with them too, guys. 
but hopefully it will be. Um, uh, my gameplay is out right now, you guys. Been David here. See you later. Peace.